Imputation simply means replacing a missing value with a value that makes sense. But how can we get such values? Well, we'll use machine learning algorithms because they have a high prediction power. So in this video we'll learn how to impute missing values easily and effectively. First of all, we have to make sure we have missing values in our dataset. Using plot in a Pareto function from DLUCA package, we can produce a Pareto chart, which shows proportions of missing values in every variable. It even tells you what the amount of missing values means, namely, missing around 24% of observations is still kind of okay, while missing more than 40% of values would be bad. If you have a lot of variables and want to display only the ones with missing values, use only an A equals true argument. The only problem with Pareto chart is that we don't know whether missing values in different columns belong to the same observation. Plot NA intersect function from DLUCA package visualizes the combinations of missing values across columns. The X axis shows the variables with missing values, while the counts of missing values are shown on the top of the plot as bars. The y-axis represents the combinations of variables and their frequencies. For instance, we see that two of the observations are missing in both variables, ozone and solar. The only thing here is that we don't exactly know which two observations are the same. To get this problem solved, we can use this miss function from this that package and wrap it up into ggplotly command to get an interactive plot, which will show us the information of any point on which we hover the cursor. We can even zoom in a little bit if we want to. Now, since we know we have missing values in two variables, we can impute them in every particular variable separately using the Luca package or impute missing values in the whole dataset at the same time with the misrange package. Let's do both and check the quality of our imputations by visualizing imputed values. The Luca package provides numerous methods for imputation. However, here I would only present two of them, which are particularly useful, because they can be applied for both numeric and categorical variables. The first method is R part, or recursive partitioning and regression trees, and the second method is MICE, or multivariate imputation by chained equations. Let's use both of them and the imputation by the mean, just for the sake of comparison, to see which method does the best job. And to make this even harder, let's produce more missing values in our dataset and make sure that at least one variable is categorical. Now every variable in our dataset misses at least 10% of observations. Using the amputate NA function, we only need to specify four arguments. The dataset, the variable with missing values, that would be ozone, the variable which will predict the missing values, for example temperature, and the imputation method. Comparing several methods would give us a choice to use the method which does not change the distribution too much or too weirdly. For example, imputation by a simple average, shown here, is a strange one. It produces a bump in the middle of the plot which simply does not make any sense. In contrast, both machine learning methods did a great job. Although, I'd prefer to use MICE instead of R part for this particular dataset. Predicting in categorical variables, for example months, is similarly easy. So the DLUCA package is sweet for a quick and controllable imputation, and I do talk about it more in a separate DLUCA video. But we can go one step further using the Miss Ranger package, which is a real heavyweight in data imputation. The Miss Ranger approach is a non-parametric, multivariate imputation by the chained random forest. Compared to the Luca approach, which uses only one variable with missing values, 
MissRanger predicts multiple variables at the same time by using all other variables in the dataset as predictors. This method combines the random forest imputation, which is cool on its own, with the MIAS method using the predictive mean matching, which we just saw in action. So let's impute all the missing values in our dataset at once. For this, we just need to specify our dataset and provide the formula. The formula is interesting. A point on the left side of the tilde will find all the variables with missing values and fill them up. And the point on the right side of the tilde will use all the predictors in the dataset for imputation, even those with missing values. How amazing is that? MissRanger iterates imputation for every missing value multiple times until the average prediction error stops to improve. This allows for a realistic imputation which avoids new strange values, for example 0.3 in a 0-1 coded variable, and thus contains the original data structure. On top of this, MissRanger is much quicker than DeLuca because it's written in C++ and thus can be used for the big data. If we then plot the imputed dataset in red and the original dataset in black, we'll not only see that MissRanger did not produce any weird values outside of the original distribution, but also that most of the new red points are placed in the area where the most of the old black points are.